Karibu kwenye sasa. Will we talk to successful people about faith? Sasa, you're a lawyer. Yeah, bro. Who's a comedian mm-hmm. and also like a businessman mm-hmm. and a and still a creator of content mm-hmm. and a creative director. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um looking back, yeah. What advice would you give your younger self? Um uh, how young now? Um, <laughs> because if it's last year, hang in there, bro. This, it's there. just a certain return. <laughs> <laughs> certain return, lol. <laughs> Saza, okay. Do you, do you have a lot of advice? We can do it in categories. We can mm, put three phases. Okay, uh, I guess. I guess last I, three years, last five, and last ten. First of all, I would want to go to the to the Mimi wife from Bina Kumina Sita. Okay, that moved from home to Dar es Salaam. Home near where? ifakara hapo okay yeah uh, baada ya chuo i didn't just go nienda kidogo afu nikanya mjini sa yeah but back then i did not know what i want to i, I really did not know that i was going to be a comedian yani sikuwa really? na ni cho kuja kufata huko hata sikuwa comedy mimi nilikuwa nataka ni umeni share kipindi hicho ni mtu wa kileta watu wawili au watu wa watu wawili wakaleta watu wawili tunatengeneza mti kampuni na tupa bonus ya kwenda Cancun Mexico. Unajua <laughs> yeye forever living yo. <laughs> forever living. Yeah man, network that was marketing. beautiful. Yeah. That was beautiful man. Yeah. That was network marketing. Eh yeah. uh, ikuwa ndo kipindi yangu ya mimi kujifunza I guess this whole Yo man because I had a friend that got me into that but yeah. sasa hivi ndo naelewa what that really was because then it is helping. It's the best sales training you'll ever get. Bro, yeah. Yeah. bro, yeah. like kwanza ile tu. But it is a pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> I, you see? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> But, But anyway. it gives you, it definitely gives you those. Yeah, you have to now face a person you don't know. You don't know. Sheesh. And make them care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. Ah, so, anyway. So what advice would you give him? So I, I, I would tell that dude because that dude kuna siku alikuwa. Aiko nasikiza redio akashiriki kwenye Do I even want to talk to that dude? Let me talk to that dude. Aiko nasikiza redio akasikiza kuhusiana na show and then he heard there's a competition yeah comedy uh, yeah like a comedian and stuff. And then there's a prayer he did in the morning ile ya kwenye sasa hiyo ni baada ya mchezo sasa kushinda Uh, the audition round sasa tunaenda sasa kwenye mashindano sasa ya mkale wa stand up comedy Dar es Salaam mm. Volu Comedy Nights mm. kile toko kwa kupitia Evers Bukuku <laughs> <laughs> shindi atapewa milioni mbili mm. so there was that morning when that guy was praying and he said ali sali baba yetu and then he said if what i am going to do today is going to bring me closer to you kama hicho nachoenda kufanya leo kitaniita mimi karibu yako na wewe fresh nishinde ila kama kitaniita karibu na wewe ah. is a conditional love kind yeah, of prayer very conditional mm. also like no romance with that finance <laughs> <laughs> it's but so it's okay <laughs> and then he said he said eh uh, is it and uh, kama hicho nachoenda kufanya kitaniita karibu na wewe mungu fresh nishinde lakini kama kitanifanyisha niwe mbali na wewe Nisishinda. Ah, you yeah. Yeah. I want to tell that kid yeah. Yeah, hang in there. Nenda kwenye hiyo And the prize is not even the 2 million days. There's a better prize. And I want to tell him that I respect him because he didn't understand shit then. Mm. Yeah. But he went to the chapel. He wanted yeah. to do it. Did it anyway. Won the money. Won the money. Nice. Two million. My All first right. two million in Dar es Salaam. Hapo nimeshanga hii Canada za Mswaki. Okay, so was that like the beginning of okay, hey, I think I'm good at this. I think mm. I want to do this. I yeah, think but like in, seriously. Yeah, but there's also a kid maybe wa nyuma huko ambao I've not even considered them like any because comedy for me either is when I wanted to like go out there and try my thing but I was always funny kwanza like primary right. school huko I was the funny kid. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. So so yeah so that was just me stepping off into like the bigger stage so, like country stage wise and stuff yeah. I'll go no go pa ah, back at the time of course I was I was I I was scared in the sense of ah, hey my, my 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 fear at the time was what the hell 
unajua the, the arrogance ya kuanza kufanya comedy kipindi hicho unaangalia kina Kevin I saw Kevin Hart I wasn't even watching Kevin Hart I was watching Robin Williams mm. I was watching like Robin Williams you know yeah. I'm watching Richard Pryor I'm watching mm. uh, Eddie Mac. Griffin and yeah. stuff those people uh, 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 and you know you watch two weeks you feel like these are my guys man you know my people this is my people yeah au tu wengine bado hujelewa ah say so i was watching that and then unajifanya sasa kama wewe ni wale washikaji pia and then mm. there's there's a respect to that also lakini like, anyway there's that idea of sasa unaenda unasema wa Tanzania wataelewa and this is the question ambayo tunajiuliza kama nyingi sana as creative or people trying to do anything is like wa Tanzania wataelewa and then umegundua wewe na mimi kila mtu ana wa Tanzania wake kichwani mm. and also our Tanzania actually tunawatengeneza kila mtu ana wa kwake kwa sababu kila mtu ana insecurities zake yeah. kwa hiyo ulichokifanya ni unachukua hizo za kwako na hayo manani zako zote limetesha zako unawabandika kundi la watu ambao kichwani kwako ndio unasema hao oh, wanaweza watao sielewe <laughs> you know so 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 when i went there actually mimi niko nafanya kwa kiingereza mm. they i guess what i saw is uh ujamana anaki anaki anakielewa hicho anachokifanya because so pale tu kuelesha kwamba nguimba ni ngumu audition tu imebidi iweke video ya pepe dogo pepe na chapa na ah hii ndo stand up mm. utafika kwamba mm, stand up hii mimi siwezi mm. ndefu mm. kwa sababu wengine wanakuja kuigiza and mm. stuff mm. so we're doing that na kwa kipindi kirefu sana stand up pose kuigiza yeah. ni maigizo yeah. you know, kina bambo alichokuwa anafanya kina kingwendo mm. si ndio eh yeah. kwa nivo pita Ah. Kenda ikawa fresh. Sasa ikabaki ya buza si ndo nilikuwa naenda kufanyia show top top sasa hiyo ya kwamba sasa utaingia kwenye kinyang'anyiro cha Dar es Salaam. Mm. Kapiga show yangu pale. Nilikuwa na joke yangu moja hiyo inaitwa Albash Hospital. Albash Hospital. Albash Hospital. Albash Hospital. Ni nakwambia hata kama unaumwa vipi bro. Utaendaje hospitali imeandikwa Albash Hospital mlangoni unategemea nini? <laughs> it's just some dumb shit. Eti kwamba yeye alibasha hospital ukienda kwa hata kama unaumwa jicho wala choma sindano ya kalio. <laughs> Wanapaka speech nusu saa. <laughs> Basi wali kafanya fanya pale ikakubali ndio ikajaga sasa hiyo fast forward ndio ikaja the next week ambao I'm praying to go to the finals. Right ambazo zinafanyikia tabata this is when sasa i have to have a swahili set and stuff ndo nikaenda nikaenda na albasha hospital afu nikaandika na set nyingine sasa inaitwa mama mboya mtoto wa mama mboya which is basically just mama yangu alivogona tudunda and then stuff you know every kid mtu ana mama so that was very catchy i want a 2 million um I paid for my graduation and my nice. girlfriend's graduation nice. at the time Wacha. Mm. 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 Albashar. Me ya kabisa sana kwa. Basi man. And then I did that and then ni vurudi nikawa sana I had the masters thing. Yeah. So I and don't can fly kidogo. So yeah, I wanted to talk to that kid because hata yeah. wakati nimefika kule Italy and stuff it just didn't it lost meaning man life Linda, life okay. nisoma mimi nimesoma uh, masters turin italy okay. uh, eh hey, hey, pale kwa kina juventus turino mm. wanchan kwao right. nimeenda safi ila sijaingia yeah. mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so so i did my masters there and then pale mimi ndo mwanangu yani me like the interest to just this whole thing called sapa kwenye maisha like sasa mimi nafiti wapi you get what i mean this is the like yeah mkona sa fata hii sheria yenyewe niko na joy kwa sababu back then nilikuwa na ideas zangu zingine niko na ngalia suits nini mhm naomba kama hayo nataka kufanya sio nini criminal case sio ufanye wewe international criminal law uje ufunge ma dictator huko Afrika ma dictator na nani umefuatilia taarifa leo umesoma tu sio nini yani bwana Ko you know and then it lost I lost interest in in that kabisa and it was like ah sasa kama ni hivi ah na hata afu uzuri wa hiyo masters yenyewe ilikuwa tu ni kitu fulani kwa sababu hata hiyo yenyewe masters walioanzisha ilikuwa ni kama yo ah uh, well there's a way the system is running kwa mfano tuna kesi hapa ya Tanzania mm. na hawa jamaa wa umeme mm. walifanya hii kesi. Mm. Hii kesi imeamuliwa. Hii imeikuta huko Italy wanaoga. Yeah. Hii kesi imeamuliwa in favor kwa huyu jamaa 
imeimulia in favor of 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 hii kampuni ya umeme kwa sababu kuna namna tume treat right za huyu jamaa za kwenye mkataba kama property rights so it is very technical mm. but the point is yule 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 huyu hiyo kampuni ambayo ilikuja kutoa hiyo service imelindwa sana yani mm. the way to me interpret sheria ni tumeilinda zaidi kampuni kuliko nchi because we are assuming that the state is mm. dangerous mm. and it is a liability so and stuff and like the question is ni kweli nchi zenyewe hizo bana zinaweza mm. kuitikisa hiyo kampuni mara au mm-hmm. au kuna issue nyingine hapa mm-hmm. so that's that's how the masters was mm-hmm. but anyway kwa hiyo hiyo na wenyewe na Yeah. so yeah it didn't yeah. it was interesting now i understand what they were saying because i had to go out of that do other things right and get a ha ah, even though man wale washikaji walianzisha context, context. context flani yeah. sikuwa yeah. nayo sikuwa yeah. nayo at the time yes sima sasa looking looking at your particular mm-hmm. path mm-hmm. from school all the way to masters mm-hmm. and then to doing a thing that nikipaji but it's also passion mm-hmm. um and then doing that at early at no not really at an early <laughs> no, stage no, at no. a very late stage because yeah. most people ambao wana kipaji wanaanza mapema sana hey, bro yani inakuwa ni kama vile wanashindana na kipaji chake um which doesn't sound like it was exactly the case for you mm. is that correct it wasn't exactly the case no, for you no it wasn't okay. except for the fact ya kwamba okay career wise to monetize it or making it a career kwa kweli nimeanza late Right. But again si shule ndio hiyo hiyo da sala kwanza mpaka la 7 yeah, yeah, yeah. unamaliza hapo unasoma tena miaka 4 yeah. kijumlisha na kwa 10 na ngapi eh kuna moja siwi miwili hey yeah. when when are you going to start yeah mm-hmm. yeah can you looking back unaweza kufikiria a moment when you were most afraid about the decisions you were making with your life mm Mm. There are moments I'm also one thing that I've never lost is okay so I let me put it this way Since the day that I decided and then I'll come back to the moment so, I felt so. like, Since the day that I decided that bana this needs to be done and this can happen because I also yani kwamba naweza kuingia kwenye comedy lakini naweza ikatokea Yeah It's like okay so this can happen Yeah Who are we going to blame Although it's not a very good idea right now but the point is who can we blame for it if it doesn't work me do you get what i mean okay. so this one works okay there are people who've done it they ah now washikaji wengine and good what come kwa era ya podcast and stuff now you're not like just watching kevin and hart and stuff tena hapa ni toy kabisa credit like bill bar he has this podcast and stuff so you can you can Yani, I like how angry he is. I relate to the, everything. Yani mkubali kwa hiyo. If you do it like I is one like yani. they call him the like the rage, the master of rage human now like something of that nature. Ah, your jamaa is a very beautiful perspective. Yeah. So I heard him and then he told he says oh, man this thing is it's, it's going to be hard. You know how he puts it. Yeah. This one is going to be hard. <laughs> and um it's not going to be easy and you probably need a side job yeah so i i i left italy and came back home with the sole decision come back. okay i am going to land i'm going to look for a side thing to yeah. do for 1 2 3 4 5 yeah, yeah, yeah. then i'm going to get back to this and the reason why is this if i don't with me yeah. if i don't do something that is interesting to me that is I can't work. Yani I just can't work. Yani I it feels like it's an option to people. Me it would I I've literally said it will kill me over time because I've tried that with a side gig. Okay. You would wake up in the morning feeling like sasa niko na fa nini hapa? Sababu I did get that side gig. Yeah. I was a lawyer for corporation. I was weird sikuwa tunafanya cooperation stuff because this company ilikuwa inakuwa mpya i did not know also at the time i'm also like writing i also written the profile mm-hmm. that's not you when you have those two things yeah, i can i can do this mm-hmm. but it still felt like unamka asubuhi mi kuna una you were like what the fuck am i doing here yeah. you know and then and then it wasn't fulfilling it wasn't making sense yeah it, like and then 
au labda sasa haya sawa de haya saidi haya hicho kingine hii kombe di yenyewe au hicho wapi unafanya mm. ni wapi umesha tuonyeshe yeah. una huko mm. <laughs> hapa mm. and then it's it's then that when like nika the, the urge like then i get it do nikafanyaga open mic wa feed queue kule tabata nikatoka ga yeah yeah this is kale like yeah yeah nikatoka ga hapo nikaja ga nikafanya tena open mic hapa ya feed queue huyo huyo alikuja kamiaga um escape one up ah nilikufa hiyo siku ukanini yani nilikufa mara yake kwenye gome ni udai yani ya mchekesho i bombed okay bombed Now it was like and that was i guess one of those things that because uko ofisini you're not liking it you went to this one thing ilikubali you go to the other thing because you've gathered up your shit and when you get there jamaa yeah, mimi nipandisha mimi baada ya Christian Bella we dada baada ya Christian Bella okay she is the headliner ah uh, nikaingia bye ni got chills yeah it simply is just that people weren't listening yeah yeah sasa kuna namna is that right back to the office. And then I also have this thing here go like obsessed over something sometimes just one thing. So at the time I was dedicated to making this office work. Go mda wao natoka huko na office ni kuna vimeo you get. Yeah. It's like a, and then that car ride back home with the guy who sent you there and you're trying to do a nigga I'm funny. Nigga. <laughs> Just this niggas don't get it. Like yeah. you get it. Obongo elevi. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you could have gone to check out who come up on any contact with them did the first show. Nailed it. Did my joke as a man wa mama mboya. Killed it. Did the second show. Not the best but still dope. Did the third fire by the third sas. Kampuni tai tena mbia si unaenda mwanza si nini. <sighs> nikiwa kule sawa show ya nne tu tumerudi ta bwana mi ni mgwe kwa kidogo ni resign so he was like to hell with plan b yeah mm so to hell with plan b and let's go with plan a mm There's just, that's like another risk zaidi yeah and then there is that mda mmekaa saa nane hivi amna mchongo watoko kwa ese boy migongo imehala kwenye kapeti ah show mwisho wa mwezi sawa you do that over time and then you're like wait a minute you cannot just sit here for a whole month and wait for one gig and one gig yeah and then this is an answer stress like how do we move from from what gig how do we now you are funny because unajua when when you're starting as an artist at mwanzoni mara nyingi na kuaga tuni i want to be fun the money will come the money will what <laughs> come <laughs> the money is not you don't come you look for <laughs> anyway though yeah. there's a truth to that also but yeah. respect that go ikawa tu bana the money will come so ta 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 and then then this so for for me i guess one of the times ambavo ame i was so scared i guess the most i think aita kimbia sana na hiyo 2020 kwa sababu gani mm. you are at that pace ambao ah, certain return eh eh ile mekekeke pop there's that division ya cheka tu watu baki you you know what i yeah, mean yeah, yeah, yeah. and then there was that ah, i thought we were going at it together like yeah. every person has their own shit yeah Oh man, uh, oh, uh, oh my lord. <laughs> you know mm. I, you know what I mean. Yeah. And people might not necessarily want sio kila mtu amenunia hivyo ulivonunia kwamba hii this one is possible. If there's anyone to blame, it is me. Yeah. It's not every person has made that decision yeah, yeah. and said there's there's, yeah. there's there's a loneliness there. Continue blaming. Yeah, and then there's that ah uh, uh, ding ding message imeingia adeo ni kwa niko na mama yako tunakunywa chai hapa asubuhi leo nikawaza sana juu ya maisha yako au uh, unalimjomba mjomba mjomba anaweza akasema ni gora kunywa chai na mama yako nikawaza sana juu ya maisha yako kama mzazi au uh, ni nani mshua 
mzee hey, mm-hmm. there are those messages because because him for him now say ni mkijana na miaka umeshaenda bro mimi nimeshaenda Italy nimejia mnielewi mbona ni roje ni karibu kwenye sasa will we talk to successful people about faith mimi nimesoma sheria Tanzania miaka minne baba yako amekulipia pale na ni pale kile cho kizuri sana kile cha sheria kile mm. cha warumi kile nini kinaitwa roa nimesoma pale miaka minne akatoka hapo akajipinda ukaenda Italy umesomeshwa vizuri umerudi fanya sasa hicho ulichosomea utaki utakuchekesha nataka kuchekesha <laughs> It's got funny but how you tell it is funny. <laughs> And this this statement it not necessarily must come from your father especially but there's this conversations that you have. And at Even this, in your own head. Yeah, yeah. man so at, for the longest time it's been these voices in my head for a while just yeah. when you know you're scared. Yeah. For a yeah. while you're like yeah. what the fuck And then sasa. Yeah, 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 there's yeah. the realization that ukishagundua oh So there is the fun eh, but to get the man there is something here mm, the which funny. is this this like there is the infrastructure right wait a minute infrastructure iko hapa sasa hapa wait mimi kajua baba uki wait hamna hamna i'm going to south africa system you know, <laughs> no, there's no comedy clubs there's no yeah there's no wait comedy minute. shows there's wait, no comedy good, yeah na hata yeah. kama ndo unaua wapigi simu hawakucheki tu ngoma mwanangu wewe ndo mchekeshaji tu ukora ula chekesha kule kwa watu wote ukuni elimu joto onge hiyo simu haipo wewe eh hey, na unaweza kuwakucheki wasi ha sana kwa nini kipini anti you know what i mean yeah, there's yeah, that yeah, like yeah. there's that and then it's very weird for my life actually why at this time i got a nilipata nafasi Yuzi yuzi hapa I flew to South Africa to watch a show mm-hmm. live ya uh, Kevin Hart okay right mm. actually part if not 90% of of course the tickets tickets and uh, there's part of that show it was funded na Lamata okay they, this me going there yeah. as like uh zawadi na nini you know relationships as the shows and stuff so. I need zawadi also because she she also understands what I'm trying to okay at least see it You know what this all this show is called reality check reality check fuck and it was like bro yeah, yeah. you know Mm-mm-mm-mm. so yeah yeah i With, feel like most comedians you know that especially the funnier they are mm-hmm. the more intelligent they are as well because <laughs> one it takes a lot of effort because mm-hmm. kuna comedy na ujinga like you can be silly and it's funny mm-hmm and you can tell a story that has a punchline mm. and that punchline is funny mm. but it's also funny something in a way that makes you kind of reflect and look at your own life mm. and i don't know about other people like i think comedians have to be quite smart in order mm. for you to consistently be funny and the funnier you become the more intelligent you are because mm. you're better at observing and better mm. at mm-hmm. storytelling etc etc mm-hmm. i want to ask you something like any mm-hmm. so when you look back at the journey What made you know want to give up? What made you want to fight like harder for it? Because you could stop at any point in time, but yeah. you haven't. Of course there's been those small small I call them fake pedestal goals of I want to impress this, I want to have that. But over time those all of those collapse over time. Yeah. And what has really just kept me, bro, it's like even when it's very dark for me. But I when it's very dark for me there would be this moment when i will find this room even if it's going crazy everywhere there will be this moment where i will find this room <laughs> and i will i will get in front of these people man and i would just share the shit that i feel ah, ah, bro where are all them kasawa you know mm. and they would get it and they would laugh mm. you know and it's it's it, I want to do more of this. How can we make now it got to a point of like how can I just take that and build something around it? How can I make that not about me but make it useful so to other people? Yeah. 
You know, so that comes with a humility and a, a humbleness now, because now you you you've re, you've gotten to the maturity of knowing, nigga, this show is not your own. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. 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 yeah, the humility of 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 knowing that I I usually tell this to my friends about like when when shit is beating them up, I usually say, "Remember, you're the alien." What is that? What do you mean? Alien in the sense, remember where you're the one alien, as in this be alien beings went to. You're the one who flew in here with this with the sauce flying saucer in the sense of treat like the culture. Is they are doing their shit. You're the one with this new idea. Okay. Wait, wait. If it is not making sense, it's because you have you are the one that understand it. And so there's also that Pamoja na they need to they need to understand stuff, but there's that part of you being compassionate that we were what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Being compassionate to come to Vosema, like to the the other person. Piana hey, hey, hey? You know, if you, if you watched some of our pictures since you were which is like, yo, mina fanya album, yo, Joe Mwekera. We're like, <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> There's no but, way, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Like, the feeling yam sani, mini me kuja kui respect up, huh? It's almost come on, yam chungaji. You, you have something. You know it's good. And there's a need for it. But it's not articulated to the people kiraisi for a new company wewe. Kwa hiyo wewe unajua kuna hichi kitu ambacho hawa tunakihitaji wewe mwenyewe huwezi kukielezea vizuri. Wewe unajua tu kinatakiwa kitoke. So that can also sometime come with an entitlement of hai. Si ndio wasanii. Ndio kweli kweli kabisa 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 kabisa. Lakini sasa so SIT yenyewe inaelewa kwamba usanii au sana ina hiyo impact unaoiona wewe. Yaani it's 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 um it's one of those things of you got to get off your high horse now yeah. and be like bro it's service yani it's not like artists we are just no you it's still people, yeah. service yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to generate some kind of value. Yes, and then and, and then there is up on una kuja mfano mzuri sana nyerere aitoaga umfano which is like after independence it said okay you're telling me the idea is to develop people if that is the idea if that is the if idea. that is the idea uh-huh. if the idea is to develop people all right in a country which is a culture it's not a few people it's all basi kama ni hivyo tusihangaike sana hapa na hawa mjitwafuata na hawa ndugu zetu ambao wako porini mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. for so so t- the point is that there is this ya wewe kutoka hapo ulipo and to understand that there are people who might necessarily need what you want but they don't necessarily get yeah. so it is that bana lugha yangu mimi naweza nikaiba moa ikaja hapa nyinyi okay. mnaonaje mm-hmm. yeah. kwa maana yake ni kusoma mazingira yako pia ni soma ndo mazingira mm-hmm. mkuu soma mazingira but also and one thing which i guess kwa sababu it's in sasa eh uh, i get a bit person okay so there's this attachment there's a psychological attachment to so to to what we create as artists okay Okay for instance um now do I really want to get that personal or should I just that. use it Okay there is this um for instance for instance for me Mimi uh, we, I've always been the same dude in a sense this yeah funny creative yeah, but I'm also the first I'm a first born bro <laughs> I'm a first born Kwanu mko ngapi to go to Okay So you're the brother and stuff, you know. Hmm. There's an example you need to set. Yeah. Do you think I really set that example well? Do you get? You know, not now, yeah. but being a kid that looks like me, that acts like me. I'm the same dude. I I yani ni yo yo. I yageuka sana. So, like there's also that aspect of now for me feeling and these things you create feeling unworthy. Do you get what I mean? Which comes from that you're different and not even in a, in a bad way wow how i party unavoipata wewe how wazazi wenyewe how i party unavoipata wewe and and wow atakuelewa mpaka wapi hizo sasa ni mambo ya Mungu na hiyo picha yako alivyoichora wewe maana yake tu wote tunaigiza and and then and then so for that what i want to create when, when i create something 
it's mine. I have, this is mine. I have validated. You do get what I mean? This is nice. And it is my beautiful thing. Now, when I share it to the world, when you want, when you share it to the world, kuna kwa gana walk up here. Do you, <sighs> Because there's fear of rejection. Yeah, it is the yeah. fear of rejection. Because yeah. that fear of rejection matches to Nsema. <laughs> it's a funny, funny example. A friend of mine, we're going to have a friend of mine, and he said, I'm going to have a friend of mine. I'm going to have a It is one thing to read about the law of averages. You're going to have a sim. What you have set now appointment. Wawili watakuja kwenye kikao mmoja atajiunga. Unashindwa kutafuta watu 30 upate watu watatu. That is the law of averages. <laughs> Bro, ni moja kuijua hiyo law of averages. Ni nyingine kupiga hizo simu atakwambia ah, mimi sitaki hiyo. <laughs> so, yeah. So so it's the same thing with my artist that fear of rejection in the sense of what I chukua uh, when they rejected uh, what was my it's not about you. It, there's a maturity for you to get to a point where it's not about me. But Manzoni, it's like, I am offended. It's entirely about you, yeah. It is personal. It right? is personal, very personal, yeah. Yeah. you know. For some people, even business is personal. Even business is yeah. personal. Yes, yes, yes. Kabisa, I guess I'm with one of those people. Because then, kuna inam, okay, well, let's not get into that. Mm. But I'm also saying, like, so for me, there's that attachment and the fear of rejection. Yeah. So that uh, definitely, may, I would say for sure, has limited the number of, of the art projects that I've put out. Right. Uh, uh, evidently. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are spaces and mm. but in the But again, so, so, now, you put that together. Ujumlisha na wewe msanii mwenyewe na yeye mwenyewe anavujio. Unakumbuka msanii naye jamani ana matumaini yake, ana matamani yake, kaka watu unakutaya ta hiyo yani anyeze kununua hiyo Hennessy. <laughs> Madem ndoa wa mtaki. Yani mambo ni yale yale unayopitia wewe. Jumlisha na hiyo at you get what I mean eh? Over some time this whole thing becomes very personal ambao ni ngumu sasa for an artist to just look at it as service. Yeah, because I gotta use my creativity to play in the same social uh, status, uh, social thingy that we are playing, the social hierarchy. I gotta use my art to also play in that same space. Mm. So the point of mom to say, "Well, figure this is service." Hey, kuna uchunga ni plan ya tago endele abumku. You need a lot of support and mental clarity. Yeah, you and need some a lot of mental pieces. Certain well. return. Yeah, certain <laughs> return indeed. Ida <laughs> deo. <laughs> <clears throat> for me, mm -hmm. you're the first comedian, the Tanzanian comedian. I'm by any limona on a comedy special. Okay. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. It's one hour and 20 minutes. Yes. That's beautiful. Girl. And one of the first, mm -hmm. first of many, I would say, mm -hmm. uh, moments I was like, yes. Mm -hmm. This is stand up comedy. So we gizaji. It's storytelling, you know what I mean? Eh? Mm -hmm. And it's powerful. Um, but also, it's powerful because you have to pay attention. Mm -hmm. You have to connect. Domana, where's the point I stand up when you're a noisy mm -hmm. environment? Mm -hmm. And it, it doesn't mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. The plot, unless you're just throwing one-liners, eh? mm -hmm. the plot won't be followed very well. Yeah, yeah. Now, kwa kidogo nacho kijua, it takes a lot to be able to put up a show of that long. Because mm. most skits, and even mm. five minutes, Mr. Simchezo. <laughs> there's a lot of triad area, there's a lot of failing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> until you get it right, mm -hmm. and then you're able to do something. Mm -hmm. So, what I want to ask you is, mm -hmm. um, I'm almost certain, in order for you to be able to get there, mm -hmm. there was a lot of lessons in the process. Yeah. yeah. Um, looking back and now, because, mm -hmm. I mean, you're still upcoming. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot more you could potentially do. So yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, and definitely. you're a businessman mm -hmm. and a creative, mm -hmm. which is a whole different challenge in itself. Yeah. I've been there. It's not a pleasant place to be. Yeah. You, the switch is not so easy. <laughs> it's not so easy, Annie. Yeah. When to be creative, when to be, in my case, was mm -hmm. when to be musical, when to be, be. analytical. It wasn't very easy. Mm. Um, is there a failure? that you cherish the most? Um, a single failure, um, not per se. 
it's it's been a, a row of of failures that have taught me lessons over time. But uh, there are those that would stand out, I guess. Okay. Because maybe because of the the emotional pain I felt, I guess, or maybe the lesson that I learned later on. Okay. So the one uh, that stood out for me as an as a creative is I died in a wedding. <laughs> you died in a wedding. I died. <laughs> I I bombed. I. Yeah. <laughs> Recording <laughs> Sasa unajua ukiwa kwenye wedding kuna namna fulani hivi inakuja kama mbona kama unatakiwa muda wa chakula hivi yani your system <laughs> says it lakini sasa chakula kijatoka kigamboni chakula kijatoka kigamboni wananchi wameshashtuka mbona kama hmm baadaye hmm basi chapa chapa hapo kidogo utavuta muda bye time kwa hiyo je jenda Samia hapo stari na joku zangu mbili tatu naweza kubali. Yeah. Ai. Mimi <laughs> nikichapa hiyo uwe nani asikubali hiyo. Wa mwanangu hapa moja na uoga uoga ina na mwanangu. Wewe piga ile piga ile nani? Piga na piga na ile ya wachaga ile yani itakubali afu pia. Bwana harusi mwenyewe mwanangu yeye anaomba tu perform bwana harusi anakujaga kwenye show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Wape mic. Nipe mic. Ta, haya jamani sina na 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 nini? Eh, haya anafuata sasa kwa jia kulichekesha. Deo Gatias. Haya watu wanakuangalia. Hmm. Ah. <coughs> eh, ah. <laughs> ah, bwana Lucy, bibi Lucy, so I'm looking for a way to even like connect. Okay, connect this Break the thing. Ice. Ah, haya pap pap nimeunganisha. Eh kama inakuja sio ni eh nikasema sasa ngoja nijaribu eh nikaanza na joku ambao sasa eh ni top top nikajaribu joku yangu moja ya wachaga akati nafanya ile joku katikati kagundua mbona kama mna wachaga huko leo ngoja tubadilishe gear hewani nikabadilisha gear hewani sasa this is this where i knew it was completely over kuna joke bana inasema hivi hapo bongo movie is movie anaweza siandikia huwa anaandikia wa Tanzania wana ukaa wapi kwa sababu mimi nakaa na sema na Tanzania same thing guys mkabuna hao watu mimi sijawahi kutana nao you know and then it's like wow and then there's a joke unakuta mwanaume ameingia ameingia nyumbani kwa ameingia nyumbani kwa mke wake anamwambia mwanamke wangu tazama sasa nyumba yetu imefana na uzao wetu umetaradati na nuia kukupenda milele wewe mke wangu mimi wangu sitaki who speaks like that nataradia hiyo tu mke wangu unaona sasa nyumba yetu unaona that whole grand presentation so to to connect with the audience nikasema ai la bongo movie sio na kuandika movie anaandikia na eti shangazi yangu ambao yanga tu one surprise is what a person unamuuliza so that they can nod or need it so that you can keep going nikamuuliza eti shangazi yangu eti wewe niambie lini wewe mme wako ashakuja nyumbani kwako akakwambia mke wangu Tazama sasa nyumba yetu imekamilika. Uzao wetu umefana. Yule mama akaniangaa akaniambia kila usiku. Ya <laughs> kutaka kujibu. <laughs> kila siku. Ha kweli bongo mvu ya watu wao. <laughs> Ah, bro. Nilitoka nje. Nilitoka nje ni baada ya kufa ikatoka nje. Alafu unajua watu baada ya kufa, comedians bana tunaonewa sana. Mtu anakuja anakuambia show kali mwanangu la watu wajelewa jelewa show kali bana wapi bana wewe bana. Bana hiyo show kali bana wapi bana tumeona wote bana mimi nimekufa bana wewe atakutafanya jelewa jelewa nini bana. Nikatoka nje nikampigia simu comedian mmoja anaitwa Nalimi. Nalimi, nalimi nakubali sana. Eh, hey, imekufa yeah. bro. Akasema, "Goya, umekufa wapi? Kwenye kwenye nini? Kwenye harusi?" Ah, 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 ah. Oh, Jonathan, thank you. 
Warusi hao. Yeye kumbe naye amejichukulia kwamba watu wa Warusi hawaelewa hivi. And I was like context the context yeah, they don't care for you. And then they don't care for that. Yes, so mm. I wrote myself and neck hiyo note inayo hata mpaka leo. Ipo nimeandikwa tarehe 2018 nimeandikwa note to self. <laughs> Fuck weddings. Fuck weddings. And then ndo nikaja kugundua sasa kwamba bwana sikiliza deo anawezekana akawa na kujua bwana harusi akishisha kazi ayuko kwenye hiyo picha wewe ni superstar kwa huyo mshikaji hawachangazi <laughs> necessary they don't they don't care but have i ever done a wedding again i tried one <laughs> Died again. <laughs> so the lesson was clear. Karibu kwenye sasa. Will we talk to successful people about failure? Sadeo. Um tunaingia kwenye segment yetu moja ambayo tunaita tunaita nje ya box. Um in this particular segment huwa tunapenda ku ku, ku dive deeper into a particular topic. Mm. Um and you know we are lucky that kufano leo tuna mgeni wetu rasmi nam nam. <laughs> Abana na uzoefu fulani mm-hmm. um na no, sorry so uzoefu fulani na uzoefu haswa yeah, yeah, wa kupeleka vitu mbalimbali mbali sokoni. Mm-hmm. Haswa haswa kazi za sanaa. Mm-hmm. So I I would like you to share with us um how do you go about or how do you think about taking something to market this could be a creative project mm-hmm. it could be some piece of content mm-hmm. it could be branded merchandise it could be a co-branded mm-hmm. gig it could be an influencer marketing gig mm-hmm. it could be some of the events that you do mm-hmm. please share your experiences um unapofikiria mm-hmm. kupeleka kitu sokoni na tuseme ume umebatika kwa na nafasi ya kufikiria it's not yeah. like that eh? um ni ni vipengele gani ambavyo lazima uvizingatie kwa kweli i'll be honest and say that is one of the things that i am learning right now in the sense of now uchukue sana hiyo biashara that gap sasa ile ile uko tunaisema that time like mm. to put this together yeah so this is conversations ambayo kesho ni kwangu mimi nimeanza baada ya kwa CEO and stuff this when you learn like okay because before that as an artist i'm thinking i'll do my stuff i'll get a guy Yes. Yeah, I'm by. Yeah, who could who do the business stuff which yeah. is like get yeah. So yeah. now I've had to go into that guy's mind. Right. <laughs> right. Like, hey! yeah, yeah, yeah. So I am I am learning uh as we speak. Um and what I what I look at so far mbaka sasa hivi mimi. Um Mimi bana I've I've been a very I've been a very good advocate of of branding. Okay. Right as a, as a, as a way to get your stuff across. And by that I I mean I don't mean it kwa maana ile ya watu wanauchukulia hizo kukaa ndani au kuweka mabango. <laughs> yeah. I mean like you there's a group a community you you are servicing mm. and 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 you are you are using that you 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 and that community mnajalign kwenye certain resonance of free thinking or a point of view mm. ambayo now from that point of view we create either any products or mm. services to either promote that point of view or, or whatever that's that's what i am I'm so looking you find at your people i find my people or they find you or, or because you speak the same me. language yes sasa exactly sasa so which is actually mm. that has brought me down to this something which is very beautiful uh, the conversation of authenticity for me Okay. Eh, for me authenticity when we, it came up when when you brought up that the you're looking for your people and, right. and then then you speak the same language. Right. It definitely has brought me into that ambayo imeni challenge kwenye sana, imeni challenge pia na kwenye biashara. Mm. Okay, so if you're being so 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 I right now I first of all don't work on stuff that I don't believe in or stuff that I I I ni kama I make sense kwenye my plan for me it's I don't work on that and then now um into into the general question of 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 how I would go to market is like um how can this be useful to people 
yani kabisa mwenye anasema kilo okole kabisa yani kabla hatujaanza kujifanya i want you to manipulate sijui yani mambo haya ya kutaka sijui ni wapige hii ah like ah, is this something that's actually useful mm. because as of recently i've come to this somebody said if you're not if you're if you're selling products that you would not use eh, that is exploitation mm. <laughs> yeah? yeah so so from that angle naweza nikasaidiaje watu right and 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 then and then from there now get to the point of how where are these people and how can i communicate with these people specifically so so so, so in general terms kwa mfano mimi it's gotten to me nimeshukuru Mungu nimepata zile onyo anasemaga nini i'm 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 a toddler by the way but all of us man was way flani ndio iko iko sahi when you said uh, there is that that says the three words or whatever that defines you for me it's um it's uh personally it's uh entertain inform inspire entertain inform inspire. inspire so how does that work how does that work anything that's coming how does that work to fit in what i am doing now mm. which is, which is that ah yeah sasa when it comes maybe to the techniques sasa za how to go to market and stuff so said the actual techniques this is my i don't know if to, for lack of a better term i'm basing to see to it and of philosophy i don't know what to call it. <laughs> that's how i look at things yeah but the techniques ah kwa kweli hata hizo techniques zenyewe mkuu sije hata kama kuna hilo jibu hapo au nimeingia tu hapo um i don't know um the best one right now is okay with the techniques questions something useful right um for me obviously the techniques would 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 it is it as it cover at the time that we're living in right now and 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 for me right now the best way to build a brand because the me me how i the going to market strategy ya kwangu mimi because actually there was a client to use we were talking and the same thing came up content for me mm-hmm. uh um tunaenda ni content we talk about experiential they, i use i use the they got to experience the product they got to hear about the product is something i'm forgetting <laughs> something i will also put in in the my nani one thing that's useful in this discussion that, that i would also want you to grab something is this Um what I'm facing with my strategy so far ya kwenda kwenye market and stuff when I'm dealing let's say with clients is they do not so ukimwambia client kwamba issue ni content sawa so, some clients don't get that he content sio tu kwa sababu unapiga ma content watu wataangalia yani hii ni tangazo nini ukishapata huyo jamaa chikishikisha akisema eh nunua hii you know yeah. so for me that's the struggle it's like no bro we mwenyewe una issue gani like what what are you trying to solve because we need to create value for the customer yeah. akufuate wewe as a, as a as a person that provides value ni ni ibe kwa mtu ambaye mimi namsikiliza sana also with regards to these stuff Gary V okay obviously yeah. that guy and and for him he says um 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 it's like every person is a media house technically yes eh yeah. kwa sababu you have channels yeah sindio una yeah. channel list una channel wapi una channel yeah. wapi una channel wapi yeah. so so basically how can you provide value through these channels that would lead to people wanting to get what you are saving or whatever you're, you're selling mm-hmm. sasa the, the issue ya mtu kuona kwamba jamani biashara ni ulokole yani hapo ndo sasa inakuwa ngumu because there is also that mentality that you have to be authentic of of yes you want to be authentic but also there is that mentality of biashara is a taking thing hmm. that's and a mentality yes yeah. yeah. and kwamba mimi i got to go and take mm. well But in actuality you have to give you have to serve yes and the more people you serve the more money you make 
Asa I gotta go and take. Tunachelewa. Hiyo haijaka. Kuna ama neno watu na kuambia sasa hivi. Hiyo sio bia. Yaani hiyo haijaka kibiashara. Haijaka kibiashara. Hiyo haijaka kibiashara. Hiyo haijaka kibiashara. Ni hiyo. Wewe tatizo lako unataka kuleta idea ambazo ni usisaidie watu. Yaani wewe unatakiwa ufanye biashara. Sa. So you, that means basically in a nutshell you're looking at branding. Mm-hmm. You're looking at inspiring. Mm-hmm. You're looking at value generation because mm-hmm. if there's no value generation there's no business anyway so branding value generation and inspiration right okay Deo, mm. if we were to do a comedy special mm-hmm. based off the conversation we had today mm-hmm. oh okay what would the title of that comedy show be uh, and we also go to start to market with it right yes okay um this conversation nimekuja kwenye msasa 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 tuite msasa hapana tuiteje atuite sasa tuitani itevuta tu itakuja kama itataka kuja hivi ehe itu sasa litani sasa sasa litani wa Tanzania wanaipataje hiyo satelite unajua kuna conversation yeah. hapo kutoka hapo mpaka na hii ione maana kisikia eh na hii ni special siku moja yes so it means if we're going so this is we are looking for people we, okay so what are we doing here we're trying to get people to to use astrology to solve their stuff isn't right. it this is what we are trying to help people do right 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 all right so so the way we are we're doing it is to we're going to use comedy Sent you? Yes. To make this happen. Yes. Because okay, so if that's what we're doing then my question would be Ah yeah, the word Saturn return. Are we are we sticking with that word? So let's just sell that, send you? Okay. Let's let's use it as a challenge. So Okay, we are selling Saturn return in Tanzania. Wao wanajua mambo ya astrology ni uchawi ni mzungu. All right. Um but one thing that people will resonate with right now Uh, mambo ya mental health yes ndio yeah uh, mambo gani tena mengine watu wanaweza kipata watu 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 ambao bado wanasema maokoto wanaweza wakaona kwamba ni issue ya kweli it's an internal issue labda nao wanaweza mm, it is an internal yeah. issue because it's also, also t- money is also tied to mental health okay so for okay some, for most people all right yeah. so so mental health and money eh okay so this conversation mimi naona watu wa age gani ya Mm, I guess 24 kwenda juu 24 kwenda juu mm. because ah as we were saying earlier they can do okay all right me i think the way we should we should sell this certain return thing is if we if we first out reach out to tafte this 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 thing is this solution is for people who are looking to to better themselves health wise mm-hmm. sindio mm-hmm. they're looking to they're looking to not only look good they're looking to feel good they're looking to be good mm. even if they do not know this yet so how do and in the process laugh and in the process laugh yes oh they are okay nimesau laughter so laughter would be basically good here because with laughter this whole mambo ya uchawi sio issue sana we can with jokes and stuff we can get into these taboo topics and yes. stuff yes yes all right okay mkuu mimi nafikiri tunataka kufanya nini hiyo show kwanza Eh? Mwezi 12. Mwezi 12. Ah, mwezi mmoja. Christmas. Kipindi cha Christmas. Yeah. Ah, basi Christmas unajua tunaiuzaje? Ah, Christmas mwanangu tunaiuza kwa vile vile mama Jusi. Mama? Mama Jusi wale watatu wale kuja kumfuata Yesu. Ah. Tunaweza tukapatia kitu kule. <laughs> tukapatia kitu pale tukaunganisha na mambo ya ya, ya hela na nini. We can make something funny out of that. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure we can. Yeah, I'm sure we can. Yeah. <laughs> Asante. Karibu Shukran. tena msasana. Asante sana kaka yes. kwenye umsasa. Aya ni maisha bro. <laughs> Baka unyoke. <laughs> Karibu kwenye msasa. Will we talk to successful people about faith?